Welcome back. So let's do a MATLAB example for obstacle avoidance with potential field, which is an applica another application of gradient descent. We covered the, the slide that you are going to you are seeing right now is covered in the previous video. If you would like to learn um, the details and the power of this potential field, please watch the previous video. Um, Right now, I will directly focus on the MATLAB example after highlighting some key um, steps. This is the control signal for X direction and Y direction. These are added terms to avoid obstacles. If there are no obstacles, you can basically get rid of these terms. But in general motion planning, there are obstacles, right? You, let's say you choose some waypoints to uh, move uh, around the environment and uh, obstacle some passengers some some, um, some people uh, pedestrians can pop up so we should avoid them anyway um, we consider this cost function and the partial uh, gradient of this cost function was this where as we applied the standard gradient descent procedure we added um, if basically you are um, this is raw distance fun function with, from the obstacle if you are on the neighbor the neighborhood of the obstacle then these potential field uh, terms activated k is positive and if you are, if this is not the case if you are sufficiently away from the obstacle these terms are zero and this row was the metric which is this uh, metric capturing the distance to the obstacle again you can explore um, it has other variants. Selection of selection of raw is not unique. Um, you can explore different versions. Likewise, I am applying this. I am using gradient descent. If you want, you can explore gradient descent with momentum. Um, there are so this is the uh, basic yet powerful obstacle avoidance method um, using the gradient negative gradient of this cost function and one more word in the previous video we covered the analysis of this um, slide that you are seeing we concluded that we can x can follow x and y can follow their respective commands um, and while avoiding obstacle because when you get close to the obstacle thanks to this function negative gradient it will push you away from that obstacle and the rest are all the details that i covered in the previous video essentially if you are close to an obstacle obstacle with a repulsive force here you are going to move the, this, this control signal will make your vehicle move away from the obstacle and then otherwise if you are if you don't have any obstacles you just follow the command all right um here is the matlab example this is the standard cleaning process that i always do um, total simulation time 25 seconds uh, this is the dt for the discretizing the continuous time using continuous time equations using first order Euler's method Initial conditions are zero. I start. I, I assume that the vehicle will start from the origin zero zero, and with zero initial velocity, you can code it yourself. You can explore um, different uh, settings. I am choosing alpha to be four, beta to be sixteen, and obstacle location. I, right now, I have one obstacle, which is located at five five. Um, in the next example. I am, you, can, you, are, you are going to see that you can use this potential field method and you can avoid as many obstacles as you want. But let's start with one obstacle. And save the distance is 0.5 from this um, obstacle. These are the intent commands. We would like to go from 0, 0. By the way, x1 denotes x, y1 denotes y, x2 denotes x dot, and y2 denotes y dot. Um, I forgot to mention. So our aim is to go from 0, 0 position to 10, 10. And on the middle, we have this obstacle. That's why I place it to the 5, 5, to the uh, middle of the two-dimensional space. So this is the row. This is the row uh, phi x, per gradient with respect to x, the gradient with respect to y, calculations of dvx and dvy. And basically, if you are close to the obstacle, then dv1 is dvx and um, 
dv2 is dvy this is the basically adding these control signals into two directions more precise that this is the this is the mu1 and mu2 i choose k to be one you can also assign a gain i just didn't uh, i i didn't see it's neat after i run this um and if you are basically close to the obstacle then these control signals will get activated otherwise these control signals are zero this is how you represent x dot dot equals to u x in state space form and y dot dot equals to u y in state space form x1 is basically x x2 is x dot such that you can get this um, if you have any difficulty about representing the system in the state space form uh, leave a comment i can uh, i can direct you to the most relevant video on my channel so that uh, you could you can capture the full picture and this is the uh, plotting purposes. Uh, now, as you see, I highlighted this part with green. In the next example, I am going to modify this green part to include more obstacles, that's why. Uh, the remaining of the code will be unchanged. All right, here is the example when I choose D to be 0 0.5. You start from here in X, Y, so you encounter with an obstacle, you smoothly go away around and you reach to your point 10, 10. Remember C, X is 10 and C, Y is 10. The point that we would like to reach is here, the point that we start here. If you choose D to be 0 0.05, you basically you have a less space, you are getting more close to the obstacle. And remember, so in real life, you don't have a point in an obstacle. So depending on the size of the ob obstacle, for example, if it is big, I choose make D to be larger such that I can go sufficiently away from that obstacle and reach my target. So you can always add more obstacles by modifying the code like this. So this is the green highlighted part that I said modify, I'm going to modify. These are the three obstacles that I introduced um, this is the comment that we would like to reach and the same procedure for first obstacle second obstacle third obstacle for each obstacle that you want to avoid you are going to add one term since to the ux and ui since we have three obstacles this is for the first obstacle this is for the second this is for the third you can stop this and look at the code but it is basically straightforward i just copy pasted from the first code with one obstacle and i just you, you just need to in, include here location of the obstacle uh, for second one and third one and then run it plotting is also changed a little bit right now i am also plotting the locations of other two obstacles so let's look at the code for d equals to 0 0.5 it nicely avoids the obstacles starting from here you reach the 10 10 point while avoiding obstacles if you choose d to be 0 0.05 um, you getting much more closer to the um, obstacles again depending on you know if your obstacles are really tiny preferable but in real life uh, choosing d to be a little bit larger will uh, help you to avoid obstacles for example think about if you have an obstacles looking like this choosing it d to be five you nicely avoid and then avoiding the first one, second one, and then finally you reach the goal. I hope you liked the video and um, see you in the next videos. Take care.